welcome to Smoky Mountain Lash Bees, where lashes led to bees. So today's going to be a feeding day. We're going to try something out, which is going to involve this feeder. I don't have extra nuke boxes to put on top of the four nuke highs. Rosalie, uh, Nikki, um, John Bright, Liz, and uh, Caroline. Wow, drew a brain fart there. <laughs> Anyways, so what I'm going to try to do is on nice days like this, I'm going to offer them a jar, one at a time. Today's the first time we're going to try this. We're going to see if it's going to initiate any kind of robbing activity. If so, we're going to shut it down with uh, wet towels and whatnot, and we'll figure out a different approach for feeding those hives right now. Um, since I don't have the extra box to set on top and protect this over top of the hives, thus making it more like inside the hives where it's not going to do any robbing. So let's get going and get the smoker going and whatnot and get to this. Okie dokie. So we've got the jar and I got my smoker going. I'm going to try this little hive right here and then we're going to fill this hive right here next to it while we wait and see what happens. Here, make it easy to flip this. I got it right in place here, and that covers up that entire top entrance there. So we'll leave this and see. Let's make sure you guys can see. Yep, we'll leave that to see. Now I'm gonna make sure my smoker's still going. Watch my smoker die on me. And see if they start taking down that. Alright, gotta restart my smoker. I'll be right back. Okie dokie. I'm back. Let's get you guys back with the smoker that's going. Get you guys angled down here to honeycomb. And I get a home feeder filled. It's Buttercup's turn, or not Buttercup, uh, Bouquet Hive. This is two quaint flowers, not just one. Okie dokie, so with honey flower, I am just going to pop the top and look and see how they're doing with their frames because there was nothing up in them uh, last time. So, just want to quick check in. Yeah, they definitely need food. I don't think they've got anything stored up top yet. Now what I'm gonna do, my tripod doesn't fall over, I'm gonna just look in the top of honey 
and buttercup hive and let's see the ones with supers honey buttercup and honey cloud Ooh, that smoker struck me up they're working on a few of these i'm just gonna leave it and see what they do they can eat it out for the darth or whatnot and i'll pull them probably won't get any honey out of them they'll probably eat it all all right the tripod will stay standing i think you guys can see that we're going to check in just the tip top of butter cups now Okay, had to make a camera change. Um, gonna go through this one. I may end up shaking this one off too because they're pretty empty. This one's much heavier. So, pollen stores, honey stores. Almost completely capped with pollen underneath. So they're good. I don't need to feed them just yet. But I am going to drop them down because they don't need those other boxes. We'll also open them up to be able to have mite check and treatment if need be because there will no longer be any honey supers on. So here comes the fun part of shaking bees. So the sun is a bit much for the camera, so it turned off on me. Had to switch out cameras and whatnot for cooling down. I got Buttercup all shook off, closed down to her too deep, which is what she'll overwinter in, and took her two boxes into the garage to try to keep from getting swarming activity. And I did put the lid, the outer telescoping lid, over top of that jar of uh, feed on that one hive which is the roselite hive so that the sun wasn't cooking the making that so hot so now let's get in i'm going to see we may end up be doing the same thing here to honey cloud and taking that honey box off Oh, 
smoking. I'm gonna let things calm down here for a few minutes. Then I'm gonna try to add a feeder to this hive, which is Caroline, which I'm gonna look at her real quick and double check that she needs it. Got it? Compete. They've had a head start, but Rosalie was the weakest hive. The next weakest hive is this one, which is Caroline, Liz, and Nikki are really strong, and all the rest are really strong. So we'll see how it goes. Woo! It's hot. Treating myself to an orange popsicle. So what I did, I. Refilled honey flower, honeycomb, and the bouquet high feeders. I took the two um, honey boxes that were left on the buttercup. They had those emptied out, took those off. One's in the freezer, is gonna be in the freezer for a couple days, and the other one will go in just to make certain there's nothing. Uh, no small hive, bar uh, small hive beetle or max wax moth, whatever, nothing uh, pest wise in those. Uh, let's see here. I have a feeder on top of Rosalie and Caroline. I went into Honey Cloud to take a feeder off her. As we all saw, she still had honey in it. So um, I'm pretty sure the top box is to come off from Honey's. I will do that later. Maybe even the second box or the second box may be ready to extract. Um, we shall see, but that's where we're at. So thanks for watching. Please remember to hit that uh, subscribe button and hit like, comment, and uh, share with your friends. See y'all next time.